First, welcome to the Journeys workspace. Here's a sample re-engagement journey for a fitness app that I've created. We'll be following along this journey as we cover each of the five tips in this video. Use entrance and exit criteria. Segmented campaigns have higher open rates than non-segmented campaigns. They also tend to drive more click-throughs. Use our refined entrance and auto exit rules to precisely target your users and ensure that you're continually pushing them forward in their life cycle. In this re-engagement use case, I'm looking to target users who are recently inactive but were once engaged. This way, I'll be reaching out to qualified users that are more likely to re-engage with the app. To make sure messages are always relevant to the recipients, I'll have them exit the journey once they become engaged again. Improve performance by combining channels. Going from one to three or more channels has been shown to drive more engagement and purchases and improve retention. Use this strategy to your advantage by combining at least three channels in any given journey. In this use case, I'm looking to drive users back to the app. So I've combined three out of product channels, push, email, and SMS, to have the best chance at driving more users back to the app. Refine your targeting with actions. The majority of customers become frustrated when products don't deliver a customized experience. To avoid this issue, make sure to leverage actions like yes, no branches to tailor your outreach based on customer behavior throughout a journey. In this case, I've targeted these messages based on if users have or haven't engaged with a feature, step counter. For those that have engaged with it, I'll send them a reminder to stay on track and keep counting their steps. For those that haven't used it, I'll send them a message that invites them to refresh their mind and body with a quick walk that they can track with this popular feature. Space messages with wait notes. Users can become fatigued if they receive too many messages, which can lead to unsubscribes or even uninstalls. To mitigate this risk and support positive user relationships, make sure to use wait nodes or a time window. Make sure to give users enough time to see, read, and engage with a message before you follow up on another channel. In this use case, I've spaced out every campaign with a wait node. Since these users are at a risk of churn, I wanna make sure that I'm not bothering them with too many messages in a short amount of time. Drive results by testing your messages. You can easily identify the best methods for engaging your customers by comparing channels, CTAs, and more with a split branch. In this use case, I've decided to compare two different email formats to see which one leads to more click-throughs. Both emails ask for feedback as a tactic to re-engage users, but one email is a simple text email that feels more personal, and the other one includes more design, which makes it more visually engaging. I'll track which one drives more users to click through and then direct future users to that email Here are five tips for creating journeys that drive results. Use entrance and exit criteria. Improve performance by combining channels. Refine your targeting with actions. Space messages with wait notes. And drive results by testing your messages. These five tips are just the beginning of your journey with Journeys. For more inspiration and to see what you can do with Journeys, please visit our blog and explore our documentation.